now I'm here in my kitchen, I thought I would share with you a nice little bit of maths relating to pizzas. As you can see, I've got a couple of pizzas here. And this one is a conventional circular shaped pizza. That's very much the standard. And over here, I have what you can now increasingly get hold of, these oval shaped pizzas. And the problem that I have with these pizzas, I don't know why they're oval. Maybe it makes them taste nicer or something. Um, but the problem I have is that it's much harder generally to cut these into equal sized slices. You want equal area for each slice and if you are sharing this between your friends with a pizza cutter it's a lot more difficult to get them the same size. Of course exceptions apply so in the case that you want four pieces of pizza that is quite easy to do that's just two straight cuts. Uh, two pieces of pizza is also quite easy just across the middle and uh, one piece if you're just going to eat it that is also easy enough to do however any other number of slices can get a bit more tricky so with a conventional circular pizza if you want to split this up equally what you most often do is you look at the center point of the pizza there and you will then use equal angles around that point so if you're going to cut it into say six pieces you would use a 60 degree angle between each of the cuts that you're making and this will give you equal area of pieces However, this method doesn't work for the oval pizza, because even if you start from the centre of the pizza there, it will still give you different size slices if your angles are equal. Another method you can do for the circular pizza is to take the perimeter, the outside edge of the pizza, and split that into equal sized sections. So if you take the whole length, divide it by however many slices you want, so say if we wanted five pieces, I would split that into five segments of equal length, uh, cut from each of those points into the middle, that will give me equal area slices. But again, this doesn't work for the ellipse. So if you measure that length around the outside, divide that into equal pieces, you will end up with different areas. But there is a way to do this, which I thought I would share with you. So what I need to do is imagine that my elliptical pizza is actually a circle. If I imagine I'm stretching the pizza this way, so that I keep this as the diameter of the circle, and I want the same diameter in this direction as well. I can imagine a circle a bit like this. This is, I'm honest, not gonna be the best circle ever. Uh, but if you imagine I've stretched this out, you get a circular shape, but it's based on this oval, and I've stretched it just in this direction. So if I just move the pizza out of the way for a second, I now have a circular pizza that I need to cut up into an equal number of pieces. So say if I have a, a line here, maybe I cut it into six, so I can do this one here and this one here, and this is six equal slices. If I now pop this pizza back in, all I need to do is to bring these points that I've now got around the edges of my big circle back onto the pizza. And I do that by squashing it in exactly the same direction that I've just stretched it in. So if I take this ruler, you can see that I can draw that line and map this point straight back on to my elliptical pizza. And as long as I stay in that same stretching direction, I will get a set of points around the sides of my elliptical pizza, which I now take and cut from there into the middle. And this will give me equal size slices. The reason why this works is because when I scale the pizza, when I squash it or stretch it like this, the scaling doesn't change the relative areas of the pieces. So if the pieces of the round pizza were all the same size, when I squash it in, all those pieces remain the same size as well. So there are various different types of transformations I can do that will have this property. So squashing like this in one or two directions or stretching, it should work. Uh, things like rotating the pizza or reflecting the pizza will obviously also maintain the relative areas of the pieces. And these are all examples of what are called affine transformations. So hopefully that gives you uh, a way to divide your pizza more evenly. If you'll excuse me, I have a fine dinner to eat. <laughs>